Hey guys, so today I have a high-end sword from Hanway. This is the Tori XL. Um, blade geometry is part of the performance series of cutting katana. It's a wide blade, relatively thin, uh, for mat cutting specifically. Very, very sharp. You can see some of the inlay, inlaid metal pieces on the Suba. And the crane theme. We've got a leather wrap, nice and tight. No movement whatsoever on this 11 inch handle. Manuki on these. Be able to see them that well, but it's great. Uh, it's gonna be upside down, but it's great samurai helmet. The uh, saya, the throat of the saya is wrapped in cane and then lacquered, and the rest of it has this nice, tough finish to it. Uh, buffalo horn. Gucci, Kurikata. The blade on this is a forged folded Swedish powder steel K120C high carbon steel. Clean off a bit. If you'll be able to see the folds in that or not, maybe there. Wide blade, relatively thin, specifically for mat cutting. Saki, geometric Yokote or point line. It's where the transition from this plane to the Kasaki happens. You can see that transition there as the light moves across it. Of course, these are differentially hardened. So you've got a Rockwell 60 or so edge, Rockwell 40 spine. <clears throat> Twenty-eight and a half inch blade. These are uh, a little over two and a half pounds, two pounds eleven ounces to be exact. Uh, three quarter inches of sori and eleven inch handle. This nice habaki detail this as well. Each tori comes with a maintenance kit. Nice little wooden presentation boxes. A little information on how to use everything in here. Uh, you get a little brass hammer for removing the makugi or pins. Uh, some wood for shimming. A uh, ball of powder ball for cleaning. Along with some nice, very soft cotton. Some traditional rice paper cleaning as well and some choji oil 
I always have to keep these nice and well oiled as they are high carbon steel. Right. There you go. That's the Tori XL.